Hey guys, welcome to one of my um, other video tutorials here. I'm going to show you guys how to create or how to set up Sonar 7 Producer uh, with your digital piano and to get into latency as well. I did a video just not too long ago for Reason 5, and uh, so I'm going to show you guys Sonar 7, better known as Cakewalk. Uh, this applies for Sonar 8 as well. Um, so we're going to open up Sonar, and I have the 64-bit uh, edition running right now. <coughs> All right. So you can open a project, open a recent project, create a new project, or click getting started. I'm going to create a new project, and I'm just going to name it test. Okay, you'll see my ASIO for all driver started up. Um, I recommend everybody download that driver if you don't have a sound card that uh, already handles ASIO. Um, and then we're going to set a blank, no tracks, no buses, click OK. Now my digital piano is plugged in via MIDI to USB cable, so I got my um, plug my cable plugged into my laptop here. Okay, we're gonna click this little plus button right here, insert new tracks or buses. So we're gonna input an audio track and input a MIDI track. On our audio track, we're not gonna touch anything except our FX here. We're gonna right click, we're going to go to soft synths, and then I'm going to use my true pianos. Uh, you do have to set these up in the VST folders to uh, properly properly get it set up. But um, you can see here we have our true pianos. Now you're not going to hear anything if you uh, hit buttons because we don't have it fully set up. You need to come down to your MIDI track, set my USB to MIDI adapter to MIDI Omni, select uh, the output to true pianos, and there's one thing I forgot up here. We need to set this to a new stereo bus. So you can hear now that I do have um, sound coming out. Now, if this is the first time you've ever used Sonar or you've never set it up, you need to come up here to your options and you need to go to audio. You need to set up your audio to your ASIO for all uh, driver. And the easiest way to do this is to click over to advance and then driver mode, click ASIO. Now, MME 32 bits, not the greatest, WDM again not the greatest. ASIO is the one you need. You can download it. It's free to get. Um, <clears throat> just do a quick Google search for ASIO driver or ASIO for all driver. And so once you have this set up, uh, you'll be able to start listening to uh, your piano. And you can see here in my device, I have one in, one out for the ASIO 4. My general, my playback timing masters ASIO, recording timing masters ASIO. Uh, I have 64-bit double precision engine turned on, negative uh, 12 decibels for the uh, Dem solo game. Sample rate, I always leave it at 44,100. And then uh, your mixing latency, this is going to be disabled. You need to go into your ASIO panel and set it. Now, I have mine set to 512. I can set it lower, um, but sometimes I get crackling when I start playing more notes. So... 512 I found is the magic number where I could literally just slam my arms down on all my notes on my keyboard and it would not crack on my sound card and it gives me absolutely no latency um, in reason 5 when I did my video my latency for input was 1 millisecond and my uh, latency for output was only 16 milliseconds completely undetectable um, for when you're playing you're never going to be able to, to hear that uh, latency in there so you need to do that um, you'll see here that my drivers my input and output is set to ASIO for all uh, it's version 2 now the uh, sound card that I'm using is a Realtek HD audio uh, it's just a generic sound card that comes in the HP pavilion laptops it's not anything special so you'll have to play around with your buffer size a little bit another thing with your options you need to set up your MIDI devices now you need to have an input and output. As you can see, I have them selected so that I can actually play my piano. Now, the sound quality is not the greatest because I'm literally going through $25 speakers, but when I go through my uh, Sony MDR 7506 studio monitor headphones, there's absolutely no crackling, nothing like that at all. Um, there's no latency from when I play. So, that is how you set up Sonar with the ASIO for all driver and how to get your latency down. Remember, just play around with the buffer size until you find the magic number for your system that will allow you to have absolutely no crackling of the sound card and no latency. Um, and this is how you set up a blank uh, template too for playing with uh, sounds. So uh, you just right click, go to soft sense. You can select any soft sense you want. 
Uh, real quick while I'm here, I'll just show you how to set up a soft synth uh, if you have the VS VST. You need to come here to Global and you go to VST Plugins. Now you'll have to physically add in your VST uh, to your folder and then scan VST folders. That will allow you to use your VST inside of your program, inside of Sonar. And we can also add a compressor real quick. So I'm going to go to Audio. And I use WT Comp because it's free. Uh, Cakewalk does have built-in uh, compressors, but I like this because it's very simple. Uh, we're going to add that in there. And what this is going to do is allow us to uh, have a little bit of dynamics added to our sound. It's just, it, it makes the dynamic range for when you're actually playing on the digital piano uh, more expressed, especially when recording. Um, I know I did a few recordings and put them up on Piano World, and they had said I recorded too hot, I didn't have enough dynamics in there, the waveform reflected that I didn't have the dynamics in there. So I went and did a little Google searching and found out how to actually add the dynamics uh, more into uh, <clears throat> something like this using True Pianos as the VST. Um, is adding a compressor which I'm using Plectron's WT Comp. You can use any compressor that you want to use but this one as you can see is very simple to use, very simple to set up um, and I found that this is a good setup with what I have so that I can get the full dynamic range that I want to use. Now if you want more dynamics you can actually physically open up the True Pianos uh, interface and go to their advanced and then you can change the keyboard dynamics here so this is going to automatically make it hard or higher uh, with the sound because there's not as much um, I don't have to hit it as hard to get a loud note this one I have to physically hit harder when it's lower uh, to get the uh, sound so you would play around I found that with my full weighted weight or 88 key keyboard setting it to zero was fine um, my velocity floor I've set to zero and my velocity threat hold, or threshold I've set to zero as well um, and mixed with the uh, compressor it just makes my dynamics a lot more pronounced and easier to uh, see in the waveforms now when I do record now if you are going to record real quick and I know I'm kinda going off topic here but I want to get it all done you need to arm each track and then physically record so okay so we'll just do something like that real quick <coughs> and you can see that we have this now if you were to try to export this as an mp3 or a WAV file it's not going to work because it's going to say uh, there's no audio data this is why we have an audio track up here as well so what you need to do is select the audio track hold the control button down and select your MIDI track um, and then you could actually physically export this as an mp3 so now you can select mp3 I like to use lame mp3 um, FLAC is a lossless audio codec uh, that is going to give you a pretty good uh, sounding uh, file so it's up to you how you want to do this but if you do mp3 just remember the bit depth needs to be 60 or 16 um, to actually uh, ec or mix down the audio to mp3 format here so we'll just do like test mp3 or whatever Oops forgot the E there. Alright, so we'll just do it. Test MP3. We'll set it to my desktop. Okay. And then you'll see, um, since I used lame, it popped up with the uh, extra menu. But, um, so that's pretty much it with Sonar setting up ASIO, recording, exporting as MP3s, um, using the user interface, setting up a compressor to uh, add dynamics or a more pronounced dynamic range to your, your playing. Um, I'm going to close this out. Uh, I'm not going to save it because personally I don't need it. And you can see here's our test mp3 that we had. And it should start playing. Okay. So it works. You can actually export everything nice and pretty like that. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you have any more questions, especially with Sonar or using ASIO or uh, recording and, and exporting to different file formats, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And I hope this video helped you all. Uh, happy recording, happy playing, and uh, keep practicing, everyone.